I would like to welcome you here today for the opening of the UL Hospital's Intermediate Care Facility here in the UL Arena. The development of the Intermediate Care Facility arose out of an initiative by the University President, Dr Des Fitzgerald, at the beginning of last March, when he discussed with the hospital group if we would wish to consider using the arena as a possible field hospital in the event that the hospital system would become overrun with demand, similar to what we were witnessing in Italy and Spain, and based on the apparent success of the temporary hospital structure that had been put, put in place in Wuhan. Consequently, a team from the hospital visited the arena and concluded that the most appropriate use for the arena would be to develop a post-COVID rehabilitation unit, with hospital staff being supported by some staff and students from UL. This was at the time when we envisaged having many patients who would have come out of ICU after a prolonged period, possibly on a ventilator, and thus in a very debilitated state. Simultaneously, as this idea was being developed, National HSC were putting a plan in place to create a much larger intermediate care facility in the conference centre at City West. The advantage of this from our perspective was that they had already developed a template for how one of these intermediate care facilities would be constructed and developed, and this allowed us to plan accordingly. Based on the City West model, we initially proposed a relatively large facility in case we were going to be hugely overrun with a large number of patients. It has now become clear over the last number of weeks that, ch that the challenge going forward as we open our hospital to start dealing with the backlog of other medical and surgical cases is going to be coping with the ongoing threat of the COVID infection and thus the need to avoid overcrowding in our already congested wards during this ongoing pandemic. This new facility will allow earlier discharge of patients from all our acute hospitals particularly those patients who are considered medically recovered but in need of physical rehabilitation or, or social care support prior to being sent home to a nursing, or to a nursing home.